I'm giving away this Huntsman Knife Gamma Doppler Phase 2, valued at $500 to one lucky subscriber. To get entered into the giveaway, just leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. And make sure that you have your Steam ID in the bio of your channel, and I will announce the winner on this channel at 7k subscribers. Good luck to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I've posted on this channel, it's been over a month. So sorry for taking some time off. I just had a bit of traveling to do and then I got a little bit sick afterwards. But I am back, I am making videos. And in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the current state of CS2, the economy, just the game in general. And it's not really looking that good if I'm being completely honest. Now, before I left, I put out this poll here. And let me just zoom in. <clears throat> so I basically just said, are you guys happy with the current state of CS2? And 80% of you guys said no, and only 20% 20 20 of you guys said yes. And I got a lot of uh, comments about this. The game feels soulless, like it was left back in CSGO. Um, there was a bunch of other comments. This guy hasn't even played in months, so no clue. CS2 should have been in beta for another five years. Even that wouldn't be perfect. That's just how slow Valve are. But this is probably the main comment <laughs> that I want to focus on. Lack of content and too many closet cheaters. Anti-cheat is also non-existent. So there's a few things to go over with this. So CS2 has been out nearly a full year at the moment. It released, let me just double check. I believe it released the 27th of September. So we're coming on nearly a full year. And there's still so, so many bugs in this game that I want to go through. The first one is one that a lot of pro players are calling out at the moment. This is the boost bug. Basically with the boost bug, when you stand on someone's head, you kind of shake around a bit when you're doing a boost and you're not fully ac accurate. This Pogu guy um, on X did a great explanation on this. It's basically like the ragdoll collision isn't working properly or I, I, don't, I don't know to be honest, but essentially the boost isn't working as it's supposed to, of course. And this was another big bug that happened not that long ago, only four weeks ago, and it was it was just so game breaking. You could do it on any game mode, you could do it on face it, and it would it just completely ruined the game. And this has been out since the very start. You could use the bomb to look through walls and see enemies, and this worked on absolutely everything. It worked on all the maps as well. You can see through everything. It was most effective on Mirage, Vertigo, and also on Nuke as well. Look at this one from Nuke. Like, look at that. You can see heaven. See, you can see sides. You can see on top of hot. It was just such a broken bug. And I'm happy that it's fixed. But something like this should not have been coming out. When the game first launched. If I'm being completely honest. So that's one big problem. The amount of bugs that are still in the game. A lot of pro players aren't happy with it. The game just feels kind of inconsistent as well. Now, another thing that I want to go over is the lack of content. This has been a big talking point for quite a while now. We still have less content than what we had in CSGO. So if we just go into the play here, we don't have Danger Zone. If we go to the maps, we have Thera and Mills being the only new maps added for Competitive 66. And even in CSGO, we had Cash, Train and Tuscan. So we still had more maps then than we do have now. Uh, we also got two wingman maps as well, which is decent. I actually thought adding these maps were the best um, update so far that we've had. Adding Mills and Thera, and also some of the wingman maps, and I believe we also got Pool Day. I think that was a great update, but the thing about this update is Valve didn't do anything. It was the community that made these maps. Valve just kind of imported them over. So, like, it really just goes to show Valve at the moment just don't care about this game. They're working on Deadlock, they're working on Half-Life 3. Their team is so small, they just... This is clearly on the back burner. They clearly do not care about this game, even though it is making them absolutely billions, which is just such a shame. Now, there is some good news coming up, I guess. That's uh, FM Pwn. We all know FM Pwn. He's working on Cash. It's coming along. We will see Cash in the future, I guarantee that. But who knows when he's going to be done. It could be a while. Who knows? And the last thing that I want to talk about is kind of the main issue that I have and everyone else has. 
and I've gone over it so many times, everyone has, but it's the cheating problem in CS2. So as you can see here, this is just kind of an estimated guess, about 10 to 15% of the current player, player base are cheating, and 14.3% of CS2 players have received VAC bans. Now, why is, is this bad? Well, if you load up a normal game of competitive, it's a 5v5 game mode, so if we just take those numbers between 10 and 15 percent every game that you go on to on a competitive mode is pretty much going to be on average going to have a cheater in it and it, it almost feels like once you get a game without a cheater you feel like you've gotten lucky that's how many cheaters there are and it, you can't trust anyone in the game either sometimes there's people that's not cheating but they're just good at the game but because we're used to <laughs> So all the cheaters we automatically think that they are and it's just a big mess and the number one reason that i hear for people trying to justify the cheating problem and that really gets on my nerves is well just play on face it as you can see i'm very good i'm, I'm rank four but um the problem that i have with face it is number one there's still cheaters on face it there's a lot less cheaters which is good but there's still cheaters and my main issue is you can't really, you don't have access to the full game. Like you can't play Wingman for the most part. And these are the maps that you can't play. You can play Mirage, Nuke, Dusty, Vertigo, Ancient, Inferno, and Anubis. Which means you cannot play Overpass, you can't play Office. And you can't play the two new maps, the two newest maps in the game, you can't play on Face It. So if you want to play these two brand new maps, you have to play with Cheaters. It's just so dumb. And the way that CS2 works is if you back out of a game, you're sick of playing with cheaters, you get a cooldown. So I end up leaving a bunch of games just because they're infested with cheaters. And then I can't play the game afterwards because I get a cooldown. It's a complete joke. And Valve needs to do something about it. Now, there is word of VACnet 3.0 coming out. I have absolutely no faith in VACnet 3.0. 3.0 coming out here's just an example of people cheating in premiere with it now vacna 2.0 came out with cs2 and it was completely useless i'm pretty sure everyone can agree it did absolutely nothing so why should i trust the same developers that are making vacna 3.0 like they're gonna make vacna 3.0 and then it's just gonna get infest with hackers a week later they need to have a proper team or they need to invest in a different company that can help with the anti-cheat because they're doing a terrible terrible job now there is interviews back in the day of valve employees talking about cs2 and how they see cs2 as a sport and a big focus on esports well the thing about actual sports <laughs> the thing about actual sports is once people are cheating in actual sports they actually receive a ban <laughs> here's paul pogba getting a four-year ban for doping meanwhile in cs2 players are actively cheating in rmr qualifiers for the major and not really receiving any consequence for it valve have just done a complete a terrible job of policing the whole cheating system and a lot of people are just sick of it at this time also this is kind of a smaller point, but trading is kind of dead as well since Buff shut down. The market has just kind of stayed flat the whole time. If you take a look at one of my most valuable things, my butterfly knife, Case Harden. Um, so I believe I bought this for $1,074 and, um, and it's $1,055. But mine has a bit of blue on it, so I could probably sell it for a little bit more. So it's basically the same price now than when it was three months ago when i bought it so it just goes to show that the whole community is in a bit of a standstill at the moment and we're just waiting on an operation we're waiting on valve to actually do something with the cheaters and fix things one thing that i want to just kind of go over is i think activision did a good job in how they handled their cheating situation there's still a lot of cheaters in call of duty but they actually took legal action against um, some cheat developers and it's good to see that a company is actually taking action against cheat developers. Meanwhile Valve are, Valve are just 
fully letting them do whatever they want, letting these cheat developers make millions off their game while their whole company is suffering and they're losing millions from it. And as you can see, Activision wins fifth or fourteen point five million dollars in a lawsuit against these Call of Duty cheat uh, developers. So Valve, it's time to step up. It's time to fully take legal action against these cheat developers that are ruining your game, costing you millions of dollars and just making the whole game a lot worse for the players. So Valve, it's time to step up. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the whole cheating situation and just the whole situation with CS2. I'm kind of fed up at this point. But um, anyway, the channel is still growing. We, we are doing the giveaway at 7,000 subscribers. So we're less than 200 subscribers away from that. So if you are interested, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, also, I am probably going to be uploading less on this channel just because there's nothing to make videos about. There's no content at all. And you kind of have to like make up videos like on your own. You kind of have to just really think outside the box. And there's just no news. The market is just flatlined entirely and there's just nothing to really talk about. So I do want to go... Sorry, my phone's going off. But I do want to go over this channel right here. I made a brand new channel called Finance Manners. It's not gaming related. It's not Counter-Strike related. It's just finance. Um, I have a background in finance and I, I, I talk about finance a lot with friends and stuff so i just made this channel where i put a lot of editing into some finance type videos so i would really appreciate it if you guys go over and check it out i already have one video up on the channel about the housing and market the worldwide housing market and how it's in a bit of a crisis and what you guys can do about that if you ever want to get your own house but um, i would really appreciate any help you guys would want to, to give me with this channel um, i'll be looking to try to get 1000 subscribers on this channel and um, so I could get it monetized at some point. So anyone that subscribes to this channel, I'll also inc include in my knife giveaway. So if you subscribe to this channel and um, the Finance Matters channel, then you have the double double chances of getting entered into the giveaway. So I'll leave it down below. First link in the description. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys uh, go check it out and just give me a little bit of a boost at the start of launching this channel because I am very excited about this. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. You guys are the absolute best. And thanks for all the support while I've been gone as well. I'm still getting a bunch of comments from you guys, and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.